Hi everyone. So in the previous video, we talked about the state and props, and we also understood how the re-rendering is happening. Whenever the state is getting changed, it is calling re-render. It is calling render function, and same values of uh, I mean, it is rendering all the child components which are inside it. Now in this example, we can write something like uh, we have input text field, and we will have a submit button. Okay, this is input text field. We will try to increase it a little bit so here you can say i will try to extend this example here you can see uh, you have a to do's to do's have nothing but a simple empty array and you can see this is a task okay you have input text field input text field will have it has a handle change method input type text and you are actually entering something in the task okay and here i will have a child component or you can say to do list i'll just rename that component in the to do list we are actually passing the data and what data we are passing we are passing the to dos okay so we can say is dot state dot to do's in the to do list this button is you can see add new to do this is simple we just need to bind it bind with this object and we also have increase count let's change it to add task you don't need it here on click it should be on the on change add task Bind with this object now we can just define this add task here and what it is doing is it is just updating the task with the value which we just captured okay I mean add task will do a lot of things we'll talk about it so handle change handle change means whenever the input text field is typing something we will just capture that value and we'll keep in that in the task okay now add task is something it should be add new to do sorry I'm just shuffling the names you should be clear about it so add new to do is being covered from the button input text field is throwing this handle change handle change is doing nothing but it is just updating this text value now this add new to do will actually update this to do's array okay so when you are typing something whatever you are typing I already got that in the task state object task state property right now if I wanted to add a new to do what I will do is this dot state dot to do's dot push the new value which I got is this dot state dot task and I just need to call this dot set state and I need to update the to do's with the new to do's object which we have received right First of all, this dot state dot task, it keeps updating whenever you are typing in the text field using handle change. Yeah, we are updating this dot set state task. Task will have the latest value whatever you have entered. Now, add task method is being triggered from this button. Add new to do. Should be add new to do. <coughs> okay, so we have add new to do, handle change and add new to do. These are the two methods I have. It's bind, handle change is bind properly, add new to do is also bind. 
what head new to do is doing it is just updating the to do's array and just setting it in the state that's it and the same state i'm passing to the child component you can say this is tasks okay and to do list we'll access this props tasks so i can say task and i can run a map on this simple to iterate on any values and this task can be duplicate so i will be using again the index and i will be just passing key equal to the index and the task i can just print directly inside a ul so we can have a nice structure of ulli for the tasks okay so this is my child component is doing it which, which is a to do task component you can name it anything okay now if we just see this code we are just passing it we are updating the task to do's is not defined now let's see line 19 app.js to do this dot state dot to do's and this to do's okay yeah that is correct so it should be this dot state dot to do's only right so we wrote this simple task manager for us okay this is how it is working now how how we did it very basic example we maintain one state this state we keep updating based on the dom events input text field is capturing the latest value submit button this add task is getting the latest value from the input text field and pushing it in this array and this latest value of that array is being passed to the to do list so whenever this state is getting updated re rendering is happening for this whole component and to do list which is a child component will receive the updated list of task okay this is the batch one of all the react uh, tutorials i have now after this we will start talking advanced the functional component class based component with the life cycles and all so this is the batch one of 15 initial videos in the later versions i will cover the advanced things thanks everyone